going on guys, Cesar Media here. Today I'm going to be painting the RX-7's engine bay finally. I spent the last few weeks prepping the engine bay and I think it's good to go for the paint. And I debated for a long time whether I want to spray paint the engine bay or actually use a spray gun, which is the method I finally decided on because it's a race car and I know engine bay is going to get dirty, I know it's going to get filthy. But when you think about it long term, you know, with like brake fluid being on the paint, with engine oil, transmission oil, coolant being everywhere, I think the spray gun method using these things, which I'm going to review, uh, will be more durable. And I'm going to walk you through how I painted my engine bay today. Now, this is the first time I'm ever using a spray gun, which I got on Hover Freight. I did a lot of research on this. And like any other painting job, there's a lot of prepping that takes place, even with the gun itself and for the engine bay. So I'm going to show you what I did and how I painted the engine bay. And I hope this video is helpful for you guys. If you're not familiar with Hover Freight, definitely make sure to check it out. They have tools at really good price and you gotta be careful what to buy but for the most part Hopper Freight has really good stuff for really cheap price. So um, I paid like 25 bucks for this and if you're not familiar with Hopper Freight make sure if you go to the store at the checkout go on your phone and go on Google and type in Hopper Freight discounts and they always have 20% off. I don't know how they do it but every time I try to check out at Hopper Freight I use the 20% off coupon and I always get additional 20% off whatever I'm buying. So you see me here taking about the whole thing. This is what you want to do. So what I'm going to do now is dump the paint gun parts here that I took apart into a stone and make sure it's all clean of grease and you, you can see the grease here, right? This is the stuff that's gonna get in your paint and ruin your paint and that's why a lot of people online are complaining that these cheap guns don't work and in reality it actually works great you just have to prep it right like any kind of paint job here I have a filter to remove moisture content from the compressor you don't want any water or moisture getting into the air so you want to make sure you attach this at the bottom of the gun you also want to use a pressure regulator and set your gun at the correct PSI so that you are spraying at the right pressure And of course, for cleaning the spray gun itself, I have here the spray gun cleaning kit that I got from Hover Freight for like $3. Hover Freight's the best. All right guys, so the gun is ready for paint. I got the pressure regulator here. I got the air filter here, the moisture filter, and the gun up top. Nice. So let's uh, go over here and show you what the car looks like and what I have done in the past few weeks. I removed the suspensions, the brake booster, the accelerator pedal, the brake pedal, the steering column is still in there, I just wrapped it up. The brake line is still in there, wrapped up. ABS completely removed because I'm gonna go ABS delete anyways. The throttle body cable is coming out from the back there. And here, this is an interesting piece here. Um, because I'm considering doing the fast intake on my LS6 engine, um, when you do the fast intake upgrade, it's actually a little bit longer than the stock LS6 intake. So what you have to do is cut off this piece here, right? So this comes around and closes off on the right side. So what you have to do if you want to install fast intake in the future is cut that piece off. And that is exactly what I did. I took my angle grinder and completely chopped that off. So now uh, that piece weighs like a couple ounces weight reduction. Passenger side, I removed the wiper motor, which was pretty easy. Of course, the uh, heater coil is removed, the uh, ABS module is removed, and all that stuff on the left side is also removed. Again, the brake line. So, what you want to do is grab a red scotch bright bite pad and just completely sand off every surface that you're going to be repainting on the car. So, I spent, I don't know how many hours elbow grease right a lot of time and tears and blood 
went into this thing. So I'm just gonna first up use primer and uh, primer up the most of the engine bay and then do the base coat and then the clear coat. You can see that I moved some of the mounts that I didn't need. The mounts that was being used for the 13B stock Road 3 setup has been removed and a lot of tabs here and there have been removed and uh, I am ready for paint. But before I paint it, I'm gonna use a stone one more time and make sure everything is clean up and good to go. Okay, so as for the paint itself, I went to my advanced store, local advanced store, and picked up the primer by Dupree Color base coat which is going to be black in my case I'm using jet black and uh, gloss clear coat so what I'm gonna do is spray the primer first then you know spray I don't know two three coats base coat and then the gloss so here we go So here is a look after the first pass of primer. Obviously you want to do a light coat and you don't want to cover the entire car with it. So now I'm going to do the second primer and it should come out more white. Now I'm not going to go too crazy and try to get every single um, surface because I don't really care for areas you can't see anyways like down there by the transmission tunnel and you know right in there. So I'm just going to try to get where I can and uh, primer what I see here okay guys so I just did my second primer coat looks like it's getting somewhere um, some areas that's still a little black is behind the strut flower there I mean obviously it's kind of hard angle to get to especially when you have air hose you have the hose going into the gun obviously and that's something that I have to walk through you know, make sure the hose doesn't hit anything and scratch the paint I think I did that here and there which is a primer it's a learning process and it's all new to me but so far it's looking good looking good looking good so now I'm gonna do the third primer coat and uh, I'm gonna do it a little thicker this time make sure I cover most of the areas and uh, that should be good to go Okay guys, and the primer is done. It's looking great, looks durable. And uh, I'm gonna let it sit here for a minute and I'm gonna jump into base coat. But for now, I'm gonna let it dry. And like I said, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. I might touch up some points after it dries and do wet sanding. But so far for a first timer using a spray gun, I think it looks pretty damn good. As for the spray gun, make sure you clean it right after you use it I already cleaned it up using a stone I think I need a bigger jug than the one I have here and it even says on here to clean it up every time but uh, yeah that's it for now and uh, next episode I'll be covering the base coat painting process so thanks for watching guys let me know if I'm messing up any of these processes like I said this is my first time doing it ever 
but uh, so far so good, I think. Peace.